Hey folks, this is Randy Jackson, and this is a, a review for solving inequalities. In, in most textbooks, it's around chapter 4, algebra 1. Let's begin. All right, uh, start off with solve and, and graph your solution. So here we go. Uh, x minus 2.1 less than or equal to 1.4. Okay, here you're going to add 2.1 to both sides. You want to get that x all by itself. So uh, you get x is less than or equal to 3.5. And so Gonna, uh, that's your algebra answer right there and so to make a graph of that so here's our graph and close circle because it's less than or equal to notice it's in between 3 and 4 it's 3.5 and then uh, the inequality tells me which way to shade uh, oops I went backwards so uh, so you're going to shade that way whoops let me go back you're going to shade that way okay all right so uh, number two okay x over negative 4 is less than 9. Okay, to get rid of that negative 4, you multiply both sides by negative 4. Remember when you multiply by negative, it flips that inequality, and then the 4s are going to cancel, and you get x is uh, greater than negative 36. Okay, there's your algebra answer, and negative 36, I counted by 6s, and I put 0 way over here, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So open circle greater than means going that way. So the inequality tells you which way, as long as your x is on the left, uh, then the inequality tells you which way to shade. And there's no bar underneath it, so it's an open circle. Okay, number uh, three. Okay, negative the quantity 4x minus 7 greater than or equal to negative 13. There's a couple of ways to do this. I think most people want to distribute that negative through, so let's go ahead and put the negative through. Negative times 4x is negative 4x. And then watch out, when you do a negative times negative, it makes it a positive 7 right there. Okay, now I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides, and I get uh, negative 4x is greater than or equal to negative 20. Then I'm going to divide by negative 4. And remember, when you divide or multiply by negative, it flips that inequality, and you get x is less than or equal to uh, 5. Okay, there's your algebra answer, and then close circle on 5, and it goes to the, to the left. Okay, okay number uh, 4. All right, this one, um, this is where you're going to get some shading in between. This is, uh, and when we do absolute values in a minute, it's going to be, um, it's going to be an and type of graph. It shades in between. Okay, so you're going to subtract 7 from all three uh, sides, you guys, and then uh, you get negative 8. Remember, negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. Uh, less than negative 2x, less than or equal to 9 minus 7 is 2. Divide by negative 2. Remember when you divide by negatives, it flips both those inequalities. And so I get a positive 4 on the left and a negative 1 on the right. And here, this is a smaller number than this number. So I'm going to flip the whole thing around. And it's going to flip the inequalities around also, you guys. So that's your algebra answer right there. Okay, it's going to be a closed circle on negative 1. It's going to be an open circle on 4. And it's going to be shaded in between the two. Okay? All right. Uh, okay, so here's the next one. Uh, okay, now here we have an absolute value, you guys. We need to get that absolute value all by itself before we start doing that plus or minus stuff. Okay, remember, these always have two answers. Absolute values always have two answers. Okay, so order of operations says I have to do uh, PEMDAS backwards, so I have to subtract out that 6 first. So let's do that first, okay? Uh, that's my goal. I want to get to this. The absolute value is something equals 3. So when that happens, then I can plug in 3 here or negative 3 here, and the absolute value of both of those gets me 3. So once I get it to this stage, I'm home free. Okay, that's my goal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go plus 6, plus 6, and uh, I get uh, 24. Then I'm going to divide by 4. Most kids uh, want to distribute. You cannot distribute through the absolute values. You have to divide them out, you guys. Don't distribute. You'll get the wrong answer. All right, so uh, I, now I'm at that stage where I get uh, absolute value equals 6. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to remember that principle right there. I'm going to use this right here. So uh, this principle right here is going to go right here. So 5x minus 3 equals 6, or 5x minus 3 equals negative 6. Do you see the relationship between these guys right here? This is like this, okay? And then now you just solve both those inequalities. You're going to add 3 to both sides. Now I'm going to divide by 5. Whoops, whoops. Uh, let's see. I'm going to divide by 5. Um, let me go backwards. Sorry, guys. Divide by 5, and I get uh, uh, x is equal to 9 fifths, or x is equal to negative 3 fifths. Uh, 9 fifths, you guys, is 1.8. Negative 3 fifths is, is negative 0.6. So when I graph those, you guys, there's a negative 0.6. If that's negative 1, negative 0.6 is just a little bit past negative 0.5. And here's 1, here's 2, so this is about 1.5. Uh, 
1.8, which would be 9.5, okay? All right, okay, let's try another one of these. Okay, this time we have a, a less than or equal to, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go subtract 2, subtract 2, and then I'm going to divide by 3. Got to get the absolute value all by itself. Okay, now, this looks like this. Do you remember this when we had the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 3? Well, when that happened, it gave us this algebra answer. So I'm going to set this blue guy up right here, just like this red guy right here, okay? So I'm going to put the 2x plus 11 in the middle and put negative 5 on the left and positive 5 on the right, okay? And you guys know what to do after this. Subtract 11, okay? And then you're going to, um, uh, you're going to now divide by 2. And then you get, uh, there's my algebra answer. And then so it's going to be a closed circle on negative 8 and a closed circle on negative 3 and shaded in between the two. All right, let's try one more, you guys. All right, okay, uh, I have negative one-third times the absolute value of 4x plus 3 less than negative 5. got to get rid of that negative one-third first, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. Remember, when you multiply by a negative, it flips that inequality. Okay, then I have the absolute value of 4x plus 3 is greater than 15. All right, when we started off with this little simple absolute value, um, it, it, it tells me, it gave me an algebra answer is x is less than negative 3, and these ones are or statements, and so my graph is going to shoot in opposite directions, or x is greater than positive 3. All right, so I'm going to set this red guy right here, this guy looking just like this. I'm going to do that to the blue guy right here, okay? So 4x plus 3 is less than negative 15, or 4x plus 3 is greater than positive 15, okay? The trick is, if it's pointing away, you have to do the or statement. If it's pointing towards it right here, you have to do it in between it right here. If the inequality points at it, then your answer is going to be like this. And your graph is always going to look like this, shaded in between the two. Okay, and then this one here, let's go back. Um, I got that. I'm going to subtract 3 and then divide by 4. And remember, uh, uh, 4 doesn't go into 18 evenly, but 2 goes into 18 and 4. So I get uh, negative 9 halves, which is negative 4.5. Or, or three on the right-hand side, and or statements always go in opposite directions.